name is Sega and I'm from Romania. Well, if I if I would be able to describe love, there's not love. Love is not intellectual, it's not for describing. Love is to feel. And uh, there's no definition of love. If it, it will be a definition of love, there's no love, I can assure you. Do you feel that you get love in your life? Yes, a lot. I'm more concerned about me being able to love. Yeah. How, how do you mean? About me. Me, if I if I'm able to love, like I receive love. Yeah, if you give love back. Yeah, to love back. Yeah. Yes. To love back is always a different, uh, different and more complicated method than to receive love. You know. Is it important for you that love is an exchange? That you love, both love, give and take. Love is an exchange, yes. Otherwise, there's no love. It's just a craving or a projection or possession or whatever. And uh, also, because you asked about definitions of love, Greek defined love, yes. Many, many definitions of love. But, uh, you know, agape, eros, and all these five uh, concepts of love higher love for God and lower love for like erotic love and this kind of thing. And, uh, but I don't believe in definitions when you, we talk about love. We Talking about love is so much different than loving. <laughs> because when you start to talk about love, you immediately start to lie about love actually. You, don't, you cannot grasp the truth about, about it. That's how I see it. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so Very stupidly interesting. <laughs> okay, so what big passions do you have? What is your biggest passion? Right <sighs> Yeah, at the moment. Maybe I'm not the man with a big passion. Um, I failed this question. Love. Yeah. Yes? No. Love is the biggest passion. Yeah. That's amazing. I love my dog. Good. Tell us about your dog. <laughs> my dog uh, name is Susie, and she's a she is a German Shepherd, mixed, not pure breed, but maybe that's why I love her. Love her more. I found I found her when she was like this, and I wanted to. Um, to put her back on the streets when she will be a little bigger, but uh, we become good friends, and I and I said, yeah, you'll spend your life with me by my <laughs> side, and she said, yes, I want to do that as well, so <laughs> she's happy. So, that's a form of love, but of course, a lot of dependency, codependency in a way. But sometimes those eyes, when you look in, into those eyes, I don't know, maybe you get your own reflection. It's very interesting. Because in those eyes you don't see necessarily, I want food now, I want shelter, or I want basic needs. There's something which I can see deeper, but maybe it's just imagination, of course. Maybe it's not real. But the expressions are so so subtle and I look they, it's a look of love yeah. what did you eat for breakfast this morning for breakfast I skipped breakfast <laughs> this morning I, I went straight into the main dish of uh, uh, lunch uh -huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, woke up, I woke up uh, late yes yeah. Do you usually skip breakfast or do you no, have a no, routine no. of usually, eating it? Usually I don't skip breakfast. So either. what would breakfast be for you? Ah, oh, cereals. And this is like a blog. No? I, I woke up this morning and, <laughs> I, and I eat a lot of cereals and I, and I drank a big cup of milk <laughs> and I was so happy and then I burped. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went outside and I went in the park and I crossed the street, you can imagine. <laughs> and uh, all the cars stopped by. Wow, so amazing. And I crossed the street, very safe. It was. 
uh, I spent in the park like half an hour and then uh, come back and took a shower with uh, not so hot water but not so cold as well. So maybe I could say mild. <laughs> Temperate water. <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> Serious? What? What I can find in the fridge? Maybe fruit sometimes. Maybe. <laughs> what Santa Claus is living in my? In Lovely. My, I have a special relationship with Santa Claus. <laughs> what, really? He brings extra <laughs> presents during the year, not only the sixth of December. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> and he mistook my boots with my fridge, <laughs> and he puts a lot of food in it. Sometimes, sometimes he forgets as well. He's old. <laughs> That's hilarious. Do you have more questions, Robin? Yeah, no, I don't have. <laughs> have yes. yes. Um, how come you picked this up? Mm. Very interesting question. It was something like a telepathy or a synchronicity, like Jung. Or I should say it was that sign that you were wearing, India. It was a board, board, yeah, um, written with uh, red, India. And we don't have any India place in Romania here. I mean, I don't know of any city called India or any village called India. So that's why I stopped to ask you, hey, where is India? I don't know where is India. <laughs> but then you tell me it's a country and I say, really? There is a country called India. Mm -hmm. We don't have a country called India as well in Romania. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we met, and that's how I stopped. Why I stopped because I saw that sign of India, and uh, I've traveled to India in India for one year, almost one year, two years ago. <laughs> so, yeah. You steered my memories. Yeah. I'm satisfied. And the other. No, it's okay. Thank you so much.